away. I don't think anybody's too keen to go on, though. And so you basically trot through the starting area. Short run down towards the first. Well, there are 22 fences. Stay away, Faye will lead them towards the first fence under Harry Cobden from Conquell Legend. Giovinco in the blue silks between horses. Black and white for the changing man of Brendan Powell. Also, if they ever jump number one, they begin to swing a right-hander into the back straight. So stay away, Faye. It goes along out in front towards the first of the seven fences over on the back straight. Stay away, Faye, from Giovinco. The changing man wider from him. Then Conquell Legends. He's been sent off a big-priced outsider of this four-strong field. Stay away, Faye. Over in front by two lengths to Giovinco. Then the changing man and a half back to Conquell Legend at their first open ditch. And all handled that really well. Now they're on towards the water jump for the first time. But stay away, Faye. Looking to make it two out of two over fences this afternoon following that Exeter chasing debut win. Popping over the water. Stay away, Faye. In pink and purple. And Shivinko and Stephen Wild Queen in the blue. And the changing man of Brendan Powell, the black and white. Red and beige for Conquell Legend and Richie McLernan at the first of the railway fences. Now to the middle one, these. And it's stay away, Fabe. So Giovinco. And the changing man to his outside. And then Conquell Legend. Fence number eight. Stay away, Fabe. Popped over in front once again. Led by about two and a half lengths on touching down. To Giovinco. Then the changing man to the outside. And against the running relish Conquell Legend. He a two-time previous hurdle winner. He's having his third run over fences today. But it's the Albert Bartlett winner from the Cheltenham Festival last season. Stay away Faye that continues to lead them on the approach towards the pond fence for the first time. And the first ever running of the Betfair Isha Novices Chase, a new grade two here. Over three miles at Sandown Park. And stay away, Faye and Harry Cobden. To the pond fence. Over in front. From Giovinco. Also, it's unbeaten over hurdles last season. The one over fences at Aintree a few weeks ago. Next is the changing man. And then Conquell Legends. At the first fence in the home straight this time. Stay away, Faye. Landed in front. To Giovinco. And the changing man to the outside. And Conquell Legend just in behind them. Now towards an open ditch. Number 11, stay away Faye. Took off a good way from that. Got to the other side. Hands are half a length in front. So Juvenko. And the changing man. Changing man who of course chased home. Stay away Faye last time. And Conquell Legend very much close up with them. So with a lap to go. It is stay away Faye. He continues to show out in front. Leads by the best part of two lengths to Juvenko. He's racing in second place. Then the changing man to the outside of Conquell Legend. As they go towards the highest point of the track before they swing that right-hander to go down the side. They're about to go through their starting points on this journey down towards fence number 12. Stay away, Faye. He's made all the running so far. Leading from Giovinco. The changing man to the outside of Conquell Legend. Downhill now towards the 12th. And stay away, Faye. A good three lengths at this point. Approaching this plain fence on the downhill run. To Juvinko and the changing man and Conquell Legend. Out over fence number 12. And safely over there. Now begin to turn into the back straight proper. And stay away, Faye. I need three lengths again to Juvinko And the changing man a half a length back. With Conquell Legend. Last of the four. As they go towards fence number 13. Stay away, Faye. In front. Good job there from the changing man. Up into a clear second out over fence 13. Quickly to the 14th, another plain one. Stay away, Faye. The changing man closing in a little. And then came Giovinco and Conquer Legend. Now to another open ditch. Stay away, Faye. Length and a half there to the changing man. And Giovinco, Conquer Legend staying with them as they go towards a water jump for the final time. Stay away, Faye. The changing man improving his position down the back straight. It's only 
a length and a half behind the leader. Then Chivinko and Conquer Legend, who made a bit of contact going out over the water jump. Now to the railway fences for the final time. Fence number 17 coming up. Stay away, Faye. We're on the changing man to the outside of Giovinco. Oh, the changing man, he got it all wrong. Oh, that's an unbelievable sit by Brendan Powell. It nearly was. He was round the horse's neck, but he's de been deposited on the turf in the end. The changing man is out of the race. The unseat rider at the 17th. Stay away, Faye will lead them now over the final of the railway obstacle. Giovinco looms up in second place now in the blue. Conquell legend, last of the three who remain. The loose of the changing man to the outside, staying with the other runners. And stay away, Faye will lead them on this run towards the pond fence in the Betfair Isha Novices Chase. Stay away, Faye and Harry Cobden. Giovinco looking to take aim now under Stephen Mulqueen. It's five lengths away to Conquer Legend as they make this run down towards the pond fence, which will be three out. Fence number 20, the loose horse interfering with the principals here. Giovinco seemingly travelling really strongly, has moved up on terms now with Stay Away Faye at three out. Not much in it between them. Giovinco to the outside of the blue, perhaps just edging it now. The loose horse once again threatens to cause a few issues. Stay Away Faye to the inside of Giovinco. They'll have to watch out to see what the loose horse does. He runs out at that one, so Stay Away Faye. Giovinco, they jump that pretty much together, but Giovinco appears to be travelling very strongly to the outside of Stay Away Faye, who will be staying on all the time as they go down towards the final fence. Stay Away Faye, Giovinco, nothing in it between them. They jump it together. Stay Away Faye to the far side. Giovinco now shaking up this side. It's Stay Away Faye, who's strung out in front. Found a length and a half on the running now from Giovinco and heading up towards the line. It's Stay Away Faye to make it two wins from two starts over fences. Wins to Bet Fair Isha Novices Chase. Stay Away Faye has seen off Giovinco. Clear from Conquell Legend. Quick debrief with Harry Cobden after Stay Away Faye has won the, the Staying Novices Chase. Uh, it, it was a, a really fun race to watch and particularly those last couple. I don't know what it was, what it was like to ride him, but did you have confidence he was always going to battle on like he did? Yeah, he's, he obviously doesn't do a tap in front, so um, the other three didn't want to make it very easy for us. We were sort of hacking around and I could see Stephen's horse being a little bit keen and just tried to slow it down in the odd position to not let him have it his own way, you know, by following us. But... Um, it was a good, good rattle over the last three anyway. I, both horses jumped great. They were very tough over the last three. And um, I'd probably say we just outstayed him, you know. Um, it was a bit of a dash from the, from the third last, but he's a proper, proper hardened horse, this. You know, he's been to Cheltenham and Aintree and um, it's a good, good hardy type. Did you want to, just before the loose horse came across you, did you want to start trying to wind it up and then weren't allowed to? Yeah, I was going to try and rattle, us, rattle on down to the third last, and I looked out the corner of my eye and saw we were going up the hurdle track, so we had to uh, take back, and then, um, you know, obviously, by the time we actually went round, and we were quite close to the fence and um, probably got going 50 or 100 yards later on than I wanted to, but, um, you know, when the ground's soft round here, um, you don't sprint for very far. I've just been saying you can't fault his attitude, but then you're suggesting he doesn't do a huge amount in front. So, I, so I can you fault his attitude? Yeah, he's just got half a brain on him. He doesn't like okay. doing the donkey work. <laughs> okay, right. He's much happier following. And, um, you know, he's, he's genuine when, when you go for him, but at the same time, you know, um, he's, he's not a surname that bowls on in front and he's, he's not a catch maybe can. He's a, he's a grinder, you know, that's exactly what he is. So, so going forward, would you prefer it if you knew there was something that's just going to give you a, give you a, a toe into the whole race? Like, like RSA would be right up the street because we normally go a good old gallop. Um, he'll have a nice toe round. I think he'll, he'll definitely jump slicker and quicker in behind. You know, today he was a bit up in the air, wasn't he? Just because he had so much time when he got to his obstacles. So um, I think there's a lot of improvement to come from him. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Niley is indeed, yeah. Um, what, what were you thinking over the last couple? Well, I knew he'd stay on strong up the hill, and I was itching for, um, you know, the second horse to take him on, as he did, to give us a bit of company rather than leave us in front and have one go at us. So he helped us out by taking us on because I knew Faye would dig deep and keep galloping and wing the last and outstayed the other horse. And, yeah, he's a real strong stayer. And a, a tactically nightmare of a race, you know. Those don't suit him, really, in the fact you've got to do it all in front. When he can get a true run race and get a bit of company or a lead, it'll help him enormously. What, so what would happen if, in that type of race if you had tucked in and let something else go along at a dawdle? Would you just, is it, he just wouldn't have the pace to go? Uh, a waste of time because he's all about stamina. You know, you, you could easily get caught for a little bit of toe. And you've got a horse like him that stays, gallops and jumps. You've got to bowl along. But what I'm really saying is a more competitive race will suit him. You know? where, where might we see him next? I'm not going to rush to run him. He won't go to Kempton Boxing Day. Napa's Hill's off there. Um, we'll have a little break now, freshen him up. 
winter flu jab as we always do. I, I could look at the Cotswold Chase, possibly. That's one okay. option, but that would be quite a tough option, but it's worth a look, possibly. Or the other race, I, in my mind, is the Reynolds Stein at Ascot, because that's a nice novice chase. Could the, suit him. The, the, the Cotswold, have you run novices in the Cotswold before? It is, because I think they're getting quite nicely in that, and he's, he's good around the track. But it just depends what was going to run in it and what the opposition were. The favourite would probably be the Reynolds Town. I haven't seen a new programme, but you, you know, there's a new, you, you wouldn't just point this running him in just an ordinary novice chase for experience. You don't need that. It's just find one nice race for him before Cheltenham. What are you expecting here? The full goal? Uh, stamina could be an issue on this ground. We'll see in a minute. He, I've always thought he wanted three miles, but whether it's round here in this ground, I don't know. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Paul.